Now this is a question uh, 29th object is solved example. Now uh, there is a similar question in uh, straight lines topic. So those um, who have I don't remember um, I think it is in I have recorded the video solution of that also. It is an objective solved example or subjective solved example. It is exactly or maybe maybe an illustration. I think it is an illustration. So it is almost the same question. But I am solving this because a lot of people have asked this question. In fact this question is not a question based on pair of lines. It's a question based on normal straight lines, right? So a pair of though pair of lines is given, we will factorize the pair of lines and and uh, and find the lines in the pair as y equals to two x and y equals to x by two. Now it is given that uh, there is a if there is a point B coordinates are two comma five, a variable line L is passing through point two comma five, intersecting the lines of the pair in P and Q. Variable line. I repeat this variable line. Is pass L is variable line. This is red is the variable line passing through fixed point B, intersecting these two variable lines in points P and Q, right? So you can see whole scenario. So these two lines are fixed. These two black lines are fixed. This point B is also fixed. This is the fixed part. Now we can draw lines like this. So that's how the situation is changing. Lines are, line is variable. There is a point R on this line. Point R is there is a point R on this variable line which is located in such a way that BP right BP BR and BQ are in harmonic um, progression are in HP harmonic progression right BP so you can see every time a line changes R changes right so it means uh, 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 these these Length will length b b r length changes, but the relationship between them is always same. That is harmonic mean, right? So um, let's see how we can do this question. In fact, uh, I forgot to mention that. In fact, the p p and q point are also changing. So if you draw, if you're plotting a variable line, right from from b. So all three points are changing. B, P, Q, and because if, if this line changes like this, you can see P is changed, Q is changed, and R is changed. But uh, with but in, when they even in their change position, they satisfy this relationship. The, the these lengths are still in harmonic progression. Point P is moving. Point R is moving in such a way that B, P, B, R, and B, Q always remain in harmonic progression. So how we do this question? This is like you know, BP is a distance measured along the line. BQ is a distance measured along the line, and BR is also a distance measured along the line. So whenever distances are measured along the line, we use parametric form of equation of line. We write parametric form of L equation of L as x equals to two plus r cos theta, y equals to five plus r sin theta, right? And then I'll assume this distance. I take BP as R1 just to write them in a simple way. BR as R2 and BQ as R3. So basically, it is given that 2 by R2 equals to 1 by R1 plus 1 by R2, right? And all three are changing parameters. R2 is changing, R1 is changing, R sorry, R3 is changing. We have to eliminate all three of them. And here theta is changing. So we have four variables: R1, R2, R3. Uh, Theta. So we need to have five equations. First equation is there. We got first equation. Then we can see point R satisfies equation of L. So we had two more e relationships. X1 equals to two plus distances. Distance is you know parameter form. Distance is R2. So we have X1 equal to two plus distance of R from B that is R2 cos theta. Y1 equals to 2 plus R2, sorry, 5 plus R2 sine theta. So we have two more relationships, second and third. We are looking for five, two more. Two more will come from the side because uh, the, we can write coordinates of P and Q also. Coordinates of P, 2 plus R1 cos theta, comma 5 plus R1 sine theta. Now P satisfies 
equation of this equation y equals to two x, right? Equation of yeah, p p is point of intersection between l and and y equals to two x. So coordinates of p will satisfy y equals to two x. Y equals to two x means five plus r three sine theta equals to two times two plus r one cos theta. Fourth equation. Fifth equation is we'll write coordinates of q. Two plus r three cos theta comma five plus r three sine theta and replace in equation this equation y equals to x by two, right? Because q will satisfy y equals to x by two. Five plus oh sorry, we should have r one here. R one si r three sine theta equals to half two plus r three cos theta. So number of equations are sufficient now. We have to go for elimination. We have to eliminate four variables. So it's not an easy question. There are four changing parameters, and we have to eliminate all of them. So if you are feeling that's a difficult question or a very difficult question, then you have a right feeling. It is actually a difficult question. Right now, the uh, solving part is see will. Eliminate. We'll find the value of. You can see r1 uh, sine theta cos theta from this side. And to uh, find the value, you can see. In fact, uh, let's rearrange the term. Combine r1 here. It is five minus one four. Four. Uh, right. Five minus one four, and then we have uh, uh, take R one common two cos theta minus sine theta, right? From this, I have taken I combine five with four. That is sorry one, and then R one term I have shifted to this side, right? And then I replace the value of cos theta and sine theta. How from this? From this one, from second and third, cos theta and sine theta. So, cos theta is x one minus two by r two, right? R one two times x one minus two by r two. Sine theta is y one minus five by r two, right? This is sine theta. This is cos theta. Equals to one. Now you can see we're getting a something that we want. We get ratio r two by r one. Ratio r two by r one is two x one minus y one. This is minus four plus five plus one, right? And similarly, we start from this. Combine terms five minus one four. And on this side, we have take r three common. Cos theta by two minus sine theta. Replace the value of sine theta cos theta. Two times cos theta is two times. Sorry, cos theta is x one minus two by r two. Sine theta is y one minus five by r two. So this will give us r two by r three equals to one by four. In fact, one by eight. After taking LCM, x one minus two y plus eight. Right. So you can just do the calculation yourself. Now we have r two by r three from this side. R two by R one from this side and R two by R three on this side. We'll replace in this. We'll replace. We have, we have two by R two equals to one by R one plus one by R three. We can write this as two equals to R two by R one plus R two by R three. So we we add basically we add these two, or we can say we replace both of them here, or, or we can say simply add and equal equal to two. So two equal to sum of these two. Right, sum of these two. So you can just just finish it up yourself. When we sum these two, two x one y one minus y one plus one plus 
वन बाई एट एक्स वन माइनस टू वाई वन प्लस एट राइट विल गेट द लोकस एंड लोकस इज अ स्ट्रेट लाइन यू कैन सी राइट सो द आंसर्स आर गिवन इन द लोकस विल हैव टू सिंप्लीफाई दिस यस यस आई थिंक द आंसर इज कमिंग आंसर इज कमिंग राइट बट इफ आई हैव डन अ कैलकुलेशन मिस्टेक यू कैन करेक्ट इट योर सेल्फ राइट सो इट्स नॉट एन ईजी क्वेश्चन द इम्पॉर्टेंट थिंग इज अ पैरामेट्रिक फॉर्म वी यूज इन दिस क्वेश्चन डिस्टेंस आर वन आर टू आर थ्री आर इन्वॉल्व सो द बेस्ट अप्रोच वॉज टू स्टार्ट विद पैरामेट्रिक क्वेश्चन इन सिंपली राइट द कॉर्डिनेट्स ऑफ आर कॉर्डिनेट्स ऑफ पी इन कॉर्डिनेट्स ऑफ क्यू इन टर्म्स ऑफ पैरामीटर आर वन आर टू आर थ्री एंड देन रिप्लेस पी एंड क्यू इन द इक्वेशन के वन